Morning folks, Caleb Booker here. I uh, wanted to address a unique question today. Do rocks have souls? Your pulse might be no, but um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say rocks have souls, but think about the experience of being an immortal soul. Think about the experience of uh, living forever. So you, you're out there in the universe and you live forever. Uh, there is no beginning or end. In fact, time is meaningless. And that means that when you look down at this 3D time-space thing that we call Earth, um, there is no reason at all not to try everything in the due course of time. You're going to want to live life after life after life. Some people say, oh, you're a very old soul. Uh, I always thought that was a ridiculous comment, to be quite honest, because... If you're infinity years old, yeah, that's pretty old. I mean, every single one of us is infinity years old. It's Time is, is irrelevant. It doesn't even mean anything outside of this particular space-time thing. And you're going to want to live thousands and millions and possibly even billions of lives. And when you've tried all of the human lives that are possible across all the dimensions and all different ways you could possibly live a human life, in the due course of time, you're going to want to try other things too. Animals, insects, plants, and physical objects. Just to see what is existence like from this perspective or from this perspective. Just to explore, to see what can I learn if I experience existence from here. So, in the due course of time, yeah, you'll want to see what it's like to be a rock for a few thousand years or a million years and because why not you know time is is irrelevant everything that you could possibly experience even if it's a billion years long is just a a whiff a blink it's it's nothing you're immortal as a soul so when people talk about um the earth having a soul about gaia that makes a lot of sense and when people talk about uh, the, the spirit of the trees. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Maybe you want to get a sense of perspective as far as a, being a, a um, aggregate function of a collective. And there's, there's a lot of different levels and ways to see reality. But the other thing that kind of uh, makes me nuts is this notion of evolving and any level of, of reality uh, of, ex of existence in this world being better than anything else. Uh, there's nothing more evolved about a rock than there is a human. Um, th there's a complexity issue, uh, absolutely, but superiority, not at all. Because your soul can choose to do them in any order and will not learn more from any one of these perspectives than any other one when it comes to the grandeur of existence outside of this world. With infinite years ahead of you, you're going to want to try a life where you're Buddha, and because you've heard of him and he sounds interesting, okay, so you live that life, and then you're going to say, okay, what's it like to be a total disaster that never accomplishes anything? Let me try that life. And you learn just as much from each life. You get just as much out of each one. So I think it'd be hubris to think that the human perspective in this world is the only one worth uh, learning from. I'd like to hear your perspective. Do you think rocks have souls? Leave a comment. Uh, and also, you know, I, I am still doing free uh, video psychic readings uh, on my channel, so leave a comment if you want one, uh, or email me at caleb at thepsychicvillage.com, uh, and definitely check out the Facebook page for The Psychic Village. Um, okay? Have a good one, guys.